Hey, this is Russ with Winged Sabre Historical Fencing. The following is a video about actions in the synoptic table, and there are a few things you need to remember when you're looking at these. The first is that these were not explicitly taught in the system, but were part of my attempts to codify consistently recurring actions that we would find occurring within the lineage. Remember, this is a living lineage, but it has a broken pedagogy because Professor Hedon was taught as a child. So when you are looking at the actions in these sequences, they are a set of evolutions that are practical responses no matter what the attacker or defender happens to be doing. And we primarily use them to teach mobility and how to get into the proper position. When you are in the proper position, impossible techniques become absolutely simple. And when you lose position, absolutely simple techniques become impossible to safely perform. So when you work with your partner, what you're really looking for is, where do I have to step or where do I have to be in order to make these techniques work? And with your partner, you get to explore that and you will find over time that your ability to marry this with your feet gets better and better because you're practicing a bunch of meta skills along with the somewhat artificial form of from here, do this, they respond to that, you respond to that. Okay? Have fun. An astute viewer might wonder, what if they make false edge cut over the wrist? How does that change things? The answer on the meta scale is it changes almost nothing. The answer on the positioning scale is it changes everything. Let's see it real quick. Two. Cat makes a false edge cut over the wrist. Oh, I don't like that. I get rid of that and cut. She countercuts. Notice, from the point of view of our skill, adjusting for distance and angle, it's the same thing. Find the angle that works. For example, if Cat goes for the false edge cut but doesn't move her feet, oh, well, that's not going to do anything. So she gets into a better position. Ooh, this is bad for me. She can easily pull around that guard now. I don't want to be here. As I mouline, if I don't move my feet, come home back. If I don't move my feet, do we see a problem with this? I see a problem with this. I want to be here as I mouline through. If she tries to countercut me and doesn't move her feet, two. False edge. No judge is going to give you that in a tournament. That's incidental contact at best. Meanwhile, she's getting a new mask made for herself because this one's got a giant divot in it. But watch what happens when she moves her feet. All of a sudden, the nonsense move becomes more practical. Come a little bit further forward over here for the camera. Two. Bang. She goes false edge. I go, whoa, I don't like that. She takes a step, and all of a sudden, my action seems suicidal in retrospect. When you consistently get the position, their actions become ineffectual. All right, false edge over, false edge under. Play it both ways. Have a good one. We've got more videos and content coming, so if you liked what you saw and it was useful for you, please stab the like button, slash subscribe, and punch the little bell icon so that you're notified immediately when new content comes available. Thanks, and go do the thing.